Imagine a Caribbean paradise disrupted, not by a hurricane or storm, but by flaming debris streaking across the evening sky. People in Turks and Caicos were left staring in awe and concern as the latest SpaceX Starship test flight turned into a spectacle of destruction. What was supposed to be a groundbreaking demonstration of cutting-edge aerospace technology ended with fragments of the mighty Starship raining down on one of the most populated regions in the Caribbean. Today, we'll uncover the details behind this fiery mishap. The investigations now underway, and what this could mean for SpaceX, the environment, and the future of space exploration. Let's start with the facts. On Thursday, SpaceX's Starship vehicle embarked on its seventh uncrewed test flight, launching from South Texas. Expectations were high, as always, for the world's most powerful rocket system. The initial moments of the flight were smooth, super heavy, the massive booster delivered its payload flawlessly and even performed a precision landing back at the launch pad, an engineering feat on its own. But then, disaster struck. The upper stage, Starship, separated as planned but failed to complete its mission. Instead, it disintegrated about 10 minutes into the flight. And this is where the story takes a dramatic turn. The fallout wasn't contained to the Atlantic Ocean, as SpaceX initially claimed. Reports soon emerged of debris passing over the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, sparking immediate concerns about public safety and environmental impact. Social media lit up with videos of glowing fragments cascading through the night sky, captured by stunned onlookers. It wasn't long before U.S. regulators and officials in Turks and Caicos got involved. Both the FAA and local authorities have launched investigations, with SpaceX taking the lead under the FAA's oversight. For now, Starship flights are grounded until a full mishap investigation is completed. You might be wondering, what exactly went wrong? According to SpaceX, early analysis suggests a fire developed in the aft section of the Starship, likely caused by an oxygen and fuel leak. As the fire intensified, it compromised the vehicle systems, leading to what SpaceX charmingly refers to as a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. In simpler terms, it exploded. This isn't the first time Starship has faced such a fate, but what makes this incident particularly alarming is where it happened, over densely populated areas. Let's talk about Turks and Caicos, the region now at the center of this unfolding drama. Authorities there have reported no injuries so far, but concerns about property damage are growing. Social media posts have shown unverified images of debris on the ground, and some residents have reported sonic booms that shook their homes. Dr. Benjamin Fernando, a seismologist at Johns Hopkins University, analyzed seismic data from the islands and confirmed that the event was consistent with a sonic boom. While the energy levels weren't enough to cause catastrophic damage, they were sufficient to shatter windows, dislodge roof tiles, and alarm communities unprepared for such an incident. The FAA's role in this saga is crucial. When a rocket launch goes awry, the FAA initiates what's known as a mishap investigation, a process designed to identify what went wrong and ensure it doesn't happen again. Part of this process involves defining a debris response area where falling fragments pose a risk to aircraft and people on the ground. After Thursday's explosion, the FAA briefly rerouted planes and grounded flights in Turks and Caicos airspace, causing travel delays and widespread disruptions. Local authorities followed suit, grounding all flights until they could assess the situation. It's a stark reminder of the ripple effects that a single rocket failure can have, not just on the space industry but on global transportation networks. SpaceX, for its part, is no stranger to embracing risk during its test campaigns. The company's philosophy has always been to push the envelope, sometimes at the expense of short-term setbacks. 
Building and testing relatively low-cost prototypes allows SpaceX to iterate quickly, learning from each failure. But this aggressive approach has its critics, especially when the fallout affects not just the company, but entire communities. Environmental concerns are also coming to the forefront. Mariba Ja, a professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Texas, warns that the dazzling light show of falling debris distracts from the potential harm it could cause to ecosystems and marine life. Rockets are inherently messy, with each launch depositing tons of material into the environment, whether it's discarded stages or fragments from a failed mission. In this case, the debris likely ended up in the Atlantic Ocean, but the proximity to populated areas like Turks and Caicos raises serious questions about the safety protocols in place. So what's next for SpaceX and Starship? Despite the explosion, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk remains optimistic. In a statement shortly after the incident, he suggested that the company could be ready for another test as early as next month, pending FAA approval. This confidence is characteristic of Musk, but it may not align with the reality of regulatory oversight. The FAA will need to review the mishap thoroughly, issue a list of corrective actions, and ensure that all safety measures are addressed before Starship is cleared for another flight. This process could take weeks or even months, depending on the complexity of the findings. The stakes are high. Starship is central to SpaceX's ambitious plans for the future. This is the vehicle that's supposed to carry humans to the moon under NASA's Artemis program and eventually to Mars. It's also designed to deploy satellites, deliver cargo, and revolutionize space travel. Each setback in the Starship program delays these goals and adds fuel to the debate over the risks and rewards of commercial spaceflight. Critics argue that incidents like Thursday's explosion highlight the need for stricter regulations and better risk management. Supporters, on the other hand, see these challenges as necessary steps on the path to groundbreaking achievements. One aspect of the investigation that's particularly intriguing is the role of international collaboration. The Turks and Caicos government has convened a meeting with partners from the United Kingdom, including the UK Space Agency, to assess the situation and provide technical expertise. This kind of cross-border cooperation underscores the global implications of space exploration. When rockets launch from one country and their debris ends up in another, it becomes a shared responsibility to address the risks and mitigate the impact. It's also worth noting that incidents like this aren't unique to SpaceX. The space industry as a whole faces significant challenges in managing the environmental and safety risks associated with launches. Studies have shown that the cumulative impact of rocket debris on marine ecosystems could become a serious issue as the frequency of launches increases. For now, the risks are considered manageable, but as space exploration ramps up, so too does the need for sustainable practices. As we wrap up, let's take a moment to consider the broader implications of this event. Space exploration has always been a high-stakes endeavor, fraught with risks and uncertainties. But it's also driven by an unyielding spirit of innovation and discovery. Incidents like the Starship explosion remind us of the fine line between ambition and responsibility. While we marvel at the technological achievements that make spaceflight possible, we must also grapple with the challenges it poses to our planet and its inhabitants. So as SpaceX and the FAA work to piece together what went wrong, the world watches closely. Will this setback pave the way for a stronger, safer Starship program? Or will it serve as a cautionary tale for an industry racing toward the stars? Only time will tell. For now, one thing is certain. The journey to the final frontier is as complex and unpredictable as the cosmos itself. And that's what makes it so captivating. 
Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.